What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Mad Max. Let's do some conversating. The time has come for us to uproot. There's no way we can stand up to Gas Town. I'm sending my young ones away. Across the Great White. Out the unknown. They'll run out of fuel and die. But we're not using fuel. We'll build a dune ship on wheels with a sail to catch the wind. Why are you telling me this? I think you might help me, for a price. I've found a fitting sail. I know where to get it, but not how. As reward, treasure from the days of old. Still buried beneath the dunes and ruins. Okay, and so we got a history relic photo showing a secret stash of tires. Pink Eye intends to cross the Big Nothing and flee the rising madness of Scrotus, but her crew lacks a good sail for their dune vessel. Scrotus has set up a big dew collector in a nearby camp, Tyrant's Lash, using an old advertisement banner. Okay, one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and get back out here. I'm probably just going to teleport over... Okay, so we got a number of places we can go. I will probably just teleport to here, though, and we'll just hit things as we go along. I think it's going to be one of those episodes where we got to we gotta wipe out a bunch of stuff. And I know some people have gotten tired of the repetitive nature of knocking out oil camps and things like that. But it seems to be a feature that you kind of just got to get down with. Okay, so from here, what targets should we hit? Let's set up a road. We'll go to Tyrant's Lash first. It actually doesn't look like there's too many targets along this way. I should probably go talk to Griffa first because I think we have like six or seven level ups. Might be a decent plan to increase our parameters briefly before we head out on any more further adventures. Like anything that will increase our damage or make us a little bit more resilient. I think will make life a tad easier, but we've gotten lucky lately. We've got all the little things we need. We found 100% of the gear in the game. And so we have all of the devices in the game at this point. We should have a pretty easy time of fighting from here on in because... As you start to flesh out your repertoire of tricks, the game does become a little bit easier. Which is good, because the vehicular combat was really throwing me for a loop at the beginning of the game. It's one of those things that... Jesus. So they live on a bridge, huh? We'll deal with that in just a minute. We'll go after him in a moment. We're going to do Griffa first, and then we'll go after that. The thing is, you kind of have to do a lot of these camps, because when the security level goes down, you unlock more loot. So... And we go to speak with our friend Griffa, our old pal. He who murders our contrast. There you are. Lungs still even, heart still beating. Yet you refuse to live. Perhaps you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am. If you knew. Why would you wander like this? I know where I'm going. Tell me again, and you go into the plains of silence. That is. That's my destination. I'm gonna cross the plains of silence. See, he tried to dodge it that time. He knew it was coming. He was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do this. So, it looks like I've actually unlocked just about every... No, maybe not. Hmm. That's disappointing. Alright, well, we got seven, so let's throw it into the stuff that we already have. I guess we'll go with metabolism for a little while and we'll save the rest of the level ups. I don't want to use that one until I'm way up at a higher level where it gets difficult, so I'm saving it for a bit. Unless I have to while I'm here. Oh, you have to spend all your points while you're here? Ew. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it looks like I have to spend all the points while I'm here. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, well, apparently I'm a wreckage roller now. I was going to save it, but now I know. I'm just not going to go back to Griffa for a while. The only thing that's left that I can put points into is that anyway. So, oh, those little symbols and shit are gone too. Man, he must have a whole team that helps him clean up all the paint shit that he throws all over the place every single time he leaves. Comes in, spreads a bunch of paint around, graffitis a ton, and then he's out. I'm going to go wipe this camp out on this side because I think it's a good idea. I would like to jump on the back though. If we could snipe from here, that'd be absolutely magnificent. So let's start... Oh, I don't know. That looks like a good enough vantage point. 
How many sniper rounds I have? Five? Good. I got that little bastard. What is that? It's part of the camp's perimeter. There's flame pipes. Okay. It looks like they got a war crier too over on that side. I could take care of him from right here, actually, I think. If I could make this shot, that might make my life a little easier. Is that what that is? I don't see him. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah, it looks like I can't get him from here. Alright, in we go. We'll do this the hard way. I need to track down some more sniper rounds, too. Oh, shit balls. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we can accomplish here. We are fighting on limited terrain, though. Very limited terrain. Luckily, we killed off the sniper, so we don't have that. Oh, I think he blew himself up. Jesus. I've never seen that happen before. That was kind of wild. Let's flip around. Y'all got armor, so I assume you got more scrap for me. They got nicer cars, too. Their cars look super nice compared to the ones in the previous zone that were all wrecked up. And I'm gonna jump out. These cars actually look like cars instead of just like a big jumbled pile of scrap. Oh, shit. Ow! Saw that one come. Oh, that's a. That's not good. Go ahead and kill as many. Oh, wow. I just wiped out everybody on his boat. Yeah, I know. Calm down. Can I shoot Thunder Poons backwards? Because I would really, really like to shoot Thunder Poons backwards. This is a really subpar place to fight. And as usual, they've got me outturned. I don't know why they have such an amazing turn radius on all their vehicles compared to mine. But it's like, these guys turn on a dime no matter what car they're in. I'm gonna wait for this shit to get better. Shoot that thing off. Yeah, get out the car, man. Here, come fight me like a man instead of being a little punk hiding inside your vehicle. Come on. Yep, I'm going to whoop the red out your cheeks, boy. Jesus. That was problematic. Yeah, one of the big things I've noticed in this game is everything can outturn you. Like, every single enemy in the game outturns you hard. Like, there's not really much you can do about it. Like, I've put everything I have into turning radius. And unfortunately, I just I can't get it done. Cannot seem to get it done. Man, that's a tough little vehicle right there. How much scrap do the new vehicles drop? Just as like a recon thing. If I know it's worth it, then I know it's worth it. Can I store these in my vehicle as well? Because I would like to have more Thunder Poons. One scrap from there. Can I throw these in the back of my car to reload? That would be super badass. It uh, doesn't look like they give that much more. Kind of seems about the same in all honesty. Let me see if I can load these Thunder Poons in here. Can I? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Well, then. I suppose I'll just blow your ass up then. Yep, that'll do it. You about to fall off a cliff, though. I get sidetracked doing dumb shit like this, like blowing stuff up. I just be like, I want it to explode. It makes me happy. It makes me really happy for some reason. Not totally sure why. I, I wish our turn radius was a little better. I noticed that in enclosed spaces, I have a lot of trouble with enemies. Woo! Got the red flame. I'm sorry, I got the blue flame out of that one. I know my colors. I know my colors. Alright, so from this side, we're going to go after this camp. That might earn us a little bit of security. And it might help out with unlocking a little bit of extra loot. I mean, we could take a look at the garage menu and kind of see what we have around here. I don't even know if we unlocked anything good from that last level up. We might have gotten something for our max upgrades. It looks like we can get some new fisticles, and so we can get wrenches on the end of our fists. Why not? It's cheap. It's cheap and easy. Oh, yeah, it's super sick right there. And we can make our ammo belt a little bit bigger, which I'm okay with as well. Let's make the ammo belt a little bit larger. If i got to expend myself a little bit of scrap here to make this happen, we can get race paint. Huh, that's kind of cool. You get something that looks a little bit like woad, I guess. We've got a three-tube scatter shot. Adds a third barrel and increases damage. Okay. Looks like it's becoming more of like a shot revolver at this point. I should probably go after a couple of these. I don't know where we're going to get these from, but... 
The limb breaking counter sounds good too. That one, I actually, I counter people a lot, so that might help out a bit. And on this side, we've got XS2. A reversal that disarms an armed attacker after a perfect parry. A wall finisher. A fury ground execution. Man, there's all kinds of stuff on this list. Shiv grapple escape. Use a shiv to break free from being grappled and intimidate. Oh, that'd be useful too. I'll take that. I don't like how it closes the menu every time I choose something. We got melee weapon executions, wall shiv executions. I'll save the rest of the scrap. I don't want to go too far in because in this game you never quite know when they're going to... Never quite know when they're going to hit you up with an expensive upgrade that you have to get for your car, so... What is that? I can't tell what that is. Oh, well, rocket didn't affect it much, so... Can I go off to the sides of it and be okay? Oh, I can, but let me use some water real fast. Get my health back because we're already a little chewed up. How are they holding that corpse together right there? It looks like it's just barely fastened. Like, take a bunch of chains to it. That's pretty metal. That is pretty metal. So how do I destroy that right there? One might assume that perhaps we do this. And that might let our selves in? I guess that's just a block to keep your car from coming in. Not really sure what the function of that thing is aside from being just like a minor hindrance and annoyance. Shotgun shells. Yes, please. Ah, oh, sniper rounds. I'll take those two. We're pretty low on everything right now, so in all honesty, it wouldn't be a bad plan. Got a freebie weapon over here. Looks like some kind of weird goddamn halberd battle axe. Yeah, outsider definitely coming. I'm going to get rid of him real quick before anything else goes wrong. Got a block right there. Let's go. It's time, gentlemen. It is time for that ass whooping. Get the body slam in there. Got the parry going on that side. Parry going on that side, too. Yup. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, it killed my streak because I got blocked. A little bit of a missed punch right there, unfortunately. I'm going to shiv punish right here. Ah. Got him with the headbutt before he could get any damage off, so I'm happy with that. I think I dropped my weapon, too. Break his arm. Ow. Got the weapon, though. Got the weapon, though. Get out of the way of him. Start swinging away with this thing. Yup. Oh, that thing broke quick. Y'all need to make better weapons. There's no wonder y'all gotta use face paint and stuff to make yourself feel tough. Got weapons that break after like, oh, he's still t turned in mid-stroke. All right, whatever. All right, got the body slam, get the parry off right. Damn, he got up after the body slam. Good for you, bro. Perfect parry on that side, break that arm real quick. I'm thinking that parry counter thing was a really, really good expenditure for us. Kinda looks like we're getting shit done here. Ow. If you can land those perfect parries, I swear, you put people down quick. What? What is that? This dude got in here like Cammy. Took that dude. Oh, he's still up too. That's the crazy part. And nut stomp to death. Sometimes you just gotta stomp a dude in the nuts. I don't know. Stomp him in the nuts. You've heard the Thugnificent song? Stomp him in the nuts. Stomp him in the nuts. There's a couple of shotgun shells right there. Some good little things to help me out. I wonder if there's going to be aircraft at any point, because I remember aircraft featuring pretty prominently in the films. Got a shiv on that side. I'm going to turn on the flashlight real quick, because I can't see worth a damn at the moment. A little bit of scrap. I will definitely take some more thunder poons or whatever else you got. Reload me as quickly as possible. Nothing on this side, aside from a little bit of scrap, it looks like. Which I think I would like to archive for myself. Break that scrotus insignia. Did I just get hit by something? It tried to take me out with it. 
terrifying little bass. What's down here? Oh, you look at that. There's a door and a water dispenser. That's exactly what I needed right now. Let's go ahead and throw all that inside of our canteen. Got that 30% bonus from our level up that should allow us to almost get a full canteen out of that one. 40% anyways. Probably go... I'm working on it. I gotta get my shit together, though. Yep. You call me the driver, and your shit's about to crash. Ooh. Yep. Was that a perfect... Oh, get the arm break! Your knife is now my knife, friend. Your knife is now my knife. Give him a couple kicks just to keep... I don't know what just happened right there. Either way, the ass whooping has commenced. Are you throwing shit at me right now? Why are you throwing shit, bro? Why don't you get up in the fight? Your friends could have used your help. Yep. Let's grab the knife. Okay, got that. Looking good. A couple of sniper rounds out of there that'll make whatever our next destination is a little bit easier. Get the scrap while I'm here because I'm never coming back once I finish this. Up the ladder we go. I feel like I could have gone topside up there. Because there was a ladder back there that I think would have led somewhere. I wasn't super sure about it. This seems sketchy as hell. Oh well. Worry about it later. If we can kill off a couple more of this guy's boys. So what does this do? Made the bus fall down. Oh cool. I didn't even realize that there was an impasse right there. Mission accomplished. They camouflaged that pretty well. Yep. Sorry, guys. I got guns and shit. When I got guns and shit, I tend to get a little bit shooty. Yep, another one down. I was going to stop him off because that tackle's troublesome. Ah. Ooh. Getting hit from off camera here. Perfect parry on that side. Ah, mash that off. Oh, I could have shiv escaped. Okay, well, at least I know the key now. I didn't get lucky, man. This is all skill. Beautiful Australian melee skill. Ain't no luck involved. Just add water, buddy. Just add water. I would have loved to have gotten that body slam off if you weren't so busy kicking me in the spleen every time I tried to throw somebody. Yep, stacking them tall. You got a headband? What, are you going to aerobics class? You better fall down. You no point in exerting yourself here. Bad thing's gonna happen to you. So, we guild Grave Bridge. Which I guess means that we're probably... Gonna lower the security level a little bit. Let's get ourselves some lovely loot. Yeah, it looks like that took us down to level 4. That was a pretty good way to spend our time. What is this? Oh, we got a picture of a doggie. I don't know the kid's name a neighbor brought. Just thought you'd see how good today's adapting to his new home or how... Toby. Toby's adapting to his new home. He's a real fine dog, Muriel and Zoe. We so many things we'll never see again. Trust. And great trees, plenty of food, security. Joy. Man, you are being a real downer right now. You realize we aren't dead yet, right? I mean, we're not quite there. I agree. The world is not at the level that I'd like it to be with regards to all of those things. But we're doing a pretty good job of beating people to death. It might be wearing on you after a little bit, but you're good at it. I mean, at least you've got a skill set that's applicable for this place. What are my skills? I talk on the internet, man. If this ever happened to me, I'd be doomed. I'd be one of those guys that they just have in a back room that's just supposed to give hand jobs or something all day. I would be the worst person ever in this situation. You don't need me to help. What does this do? I turn you! I don't feel like that did anything for me. Bring the car back over real quick. Hopefully he comes from this side. Drive that thing off the ravine on the other side. I'm gonna be real frustrated with him. 
You wanna try again? You not paying attention? Hey, hunchback friend. There you are. I knew you'd bring my shit along eventually. Alright, so where are we going from here? What do we have left? We got a sniper on that side. So let's flip around real quick and see if we can ruin his day. Nice and well. Alright, Wasteland Sniper down. We got a Scarecrow off into... We got a minefield right there, which is concerning. Doesn't really help the security level out much, but you know, you can do the little collection quests and shit while you're in the neighborhood. As long as you're there, I see no point in leaving them behind. You might as well get it done. Pretty much out of ammo at the moment, though, which is like, I'd really... Yep, Thunder Pooned. And then also run over with a car. I don't see anything over here, so we're just going to get going. I'm not going to mess with the vehicle. Let's get the harpoon out. And grope you on the way by. Gotcha. I like it to be all one fluid motion. Like, some people like to crash into them. I'm not one of those people. I like to get them nice and delicate. Kind of just, like, go around. Hey, we got another level up. Cool. Griffa has appeared yet again in this region. We got another one off on this side, so I'll get rid of him, too. I was going to say, I'm not so sure that ramming it is going to work very well anyways, considering we don't go that fast, so... Well, there's a bunch of something off to the right. I don't know what the hell that is. But they got a bunch of snipers, like five or six of them. Let me see if this scrap's worth it. Oh, there's a storm coming. Hold on. Oh, shit. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Uh, third one came back, too. And we got the big one. Here it comes. I don't even know if we could properly fight like this. Jesus. This is pretty bad. I'm not thinking of a whole lot of ways that this could get worse. Of course it is. What else could we use right now? A lead slinger. I would really like you to be up out of my business, and the car can't take too much more damage. All right, roll for it. Ah, there it goes. It was just too much of one thing. Too much of one thing. And a storm, three guys with armor, a sniper. It's just like, what else could go wrong here? What else could go wrong? I wouldn't expect anybody to survive that one just because visibility is so poor when you're out in the storm. Wouldn't anybody to take shelter in either. They always say to take shelter, but eh, there's not a whole lot of shelter locations. I had to save my ass whooping. I had to get up in there and be like, hold on, we need to make documented records of the ass whooping that you just suffered. All will be right with the world. The embarrassing tales of your less than satisfying exploits. Let us document them. Write them upon the rune stones. Okay, so where are we headed? Let's go to the Wasteland mission, I guess. We're going to try and stay on point here. Maybe accomplish something every now and again. Well, I got about five minutes left in the episode. In fact, I'm going to break it off right here just because it makes it a little bit easier to transition into the next objective. I'm going to break it off in the middle. So my name is Splattercat. See you all next time. This is Mad Max. How do you do, everybody?